Hello guys, welcome to another video. So this video here is going to be another tutorial. Um, this is actually going to be a follow up from my unboxing of Resident Evil Revolutions, the collection edition. And on the unboxing, I'll actually put a link up on the corner over here somewhere to the unboxing of this particular game over here. Um, in that video there, I said I was going to do a video demonstrating how to actually use codes. How to use codes and how to enter them into the Nintendo's eShop. So I'm going to give you guys a little tutorial on how to do that. I'm not sure how many people actually know how to actually be able to do that or not. But this is for the guys that don't know. I'm going to demonstrate how this is done. So, we got the switch here, and of course I apologize, I do not have, I don't have um, a capture card on my computer, so I can't really use the switch as, um, you know, as in, the, in TV mode. So this is the way it's going to have, this is the way, the only way I can actually do it is doing it this way. So, I am going to most likely use my Pro Controller here so that to kind of, you kind of see what, what I'm doing here. But anyway, so, let me just go grab my Pro Controller here. So this is my uh, Pro Controller. So yes, you can use you can actually use your Pro Controller while it's in uh, in uh, portable mode, where you take it prop it up on uh, on um, on tabletop mode, where you need to detach the Joy Cons, you put it up in a kickstand. You can use the Joy uh, the uh, Pro Controller and the Joy Cons if you have if you have two people playing a particular game or even three people where. You can give one joy one joy con to one person, the other joy con to the other person, and you use your pro controller and have three people play play it all at the same time. So that's one of the nice things I like about about this system here is that. But anyway, uh, enough of me ranting about that. And that's not the reason why I'm making this video. I'm making this video to demonstrate to you guys on 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 how to actually. Um, how you can actually use the code to um, to download software onto your Switch. Now, remember on the unboxing for Resident Evil Revolutions, there's actually a warning on top here with this big white bar and with the little Nintendo Switch logo on the side here that you do require an SD card. This game here, if you guys haven't seen the unboxing of this of this yet it does state on here that it you do require 26 gigabytes of uh, available space to download this software here so first thing is first is we need to figure out if you actually have enough space on your switch for this download and I think I do but let's uh, let's just double check here so you could go down to settings here and then you're going to scroll down here to data management all right and then on on the side here you're going to have two two spaces here one says system memory and the other says micro sd card so right now if i didn't have an sd card installed on the switch i don't have enough space to install this game onto the switch as of the way it is right now, if I did not have, as you guys, come on, focus. There, because it says 25.2. So, you know, just be aware of that. And if you don't have an SD card installed on your uh, on your Switch, I highly, highly recommend you guys, uh, you know, getting one because you will need it. And you can use multiple SD cards on your Switch as well. You just need to remember what games you've installed on the particular 
on a particular uh, SD card so that you can be able to play it okay um, I've got a 64 gigabyte card in here now I'm I'm working on I'm working on trying to save save enough, enough finances to get myself a 128 at least 128 gigabyte card but I'd like to get at least a 256 gigabyte card if I got a 256 gigabyte card I think I will be in pretty good shape because I'm not going to be downloading very much uh, very much games on on here at all so you know yeah so SD card a good thing so what we're going to do here now is we're going to come over here to the Nintendo eShop okay and then uh, we'll let this load up here alright so now on the side over here you can actually see this uh, recent uh, recent um, recent releases then you got games on sale best sellers coming soon then you have an option here that says enter code this is where you would enter the code to get your software so we're going to click on there and then uh, I'm gonna press A and of course this is where you type in the uh, the code now I'm going to try if this just skips over I was not able to blur out the code because I don't know once I use this code if you're, ever, if you're able to reuse the code or not I'm not sure but <coughs> I'm not taking any chances on it excuse me I'm not taking any chances on that so I'm going to enter the code here was not recognized. Okie dokie, so I guess that's not how it's done. Alright, um, because this thing has a whole bunch of, I wonder if this is what the whole menu, select the account you want to use, the code on the screen, enter this 16 character download code any letters 16 well I got more than 16 here so 2 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 okay so there's a big ass um, code on here I wonder if I need to put in I wonder if I need to put in the dashes but anyway like there's this big mustosterous number here I'm not going to show all of it but this, as uh, you can see there's a huge freak huge freaking number on here um, well obviously okay, let's go back here enter code Try this again here. Okay, so we can't go lowercase or uppercase at all. So let's um, try this again here. This time I'll, uh, I'll actually. Okay, well, I think I remember reading something. 
I'm gonna have to do some research on this one here. So, unfortunately, I cannot download the, download the game now. But anyway, that's how it's done. So obviously, I'm not going to uh, erase this because obviously it's not working. And I think I remember reading somewhere that uh, there was uh, a misprint on uh, on these calls for Resident Evil. So I'm gonna have to get a hold of micro uh, get a hold of. Um, um, Nintendo. I don't know if it's Nintendo or if it's uh, Camcon. I'm gonna have to do some research and find out. But anyway, that's how you would download the software on on your Switch. And once you hit OK, and once everything's all good, and then it'll it'll download the software, and of course it show up. It'll show up on your uh, on your tiles over here. So. Unfortunately, the code didn't work, but at least you guys get an understanding on uh, on how this works. Um, if I do get this uh, get this downloaded, I will add it here now. All right, guys. So it's actually been a few days that I've uh, recorded the uh, the actual tutorial on on to download software onto the switch and it's and um, I've been having trouble as you saw earlier on the video that uh, I was having trouble getting the game to download now just let you guys know and I'm gonna show you the code anyway because I just I just tried to see if I was able to reactivate the code again and apparently it's just used one time so I'm gonna zoom in here so for you guys that I do end up buying this game. Uh, come on, focus here. All right. So if you guys can see here, you get this actual long, long code here. Now, of course, I was trying to put this in, and of course, it was not. Uh, it was not working. It was saying invalid code, invalid code. So I was correct that. Um, there were some misprints on these codes and I did some research and one of the suggestions that uh, that I found on Nintendo's website was anything past the comma on this side here is not the code so what basically you're going to do if you get a code something similar to what you see over here right now is from the comma over so in other words in my case would be the B the B101 and on is the actual code to the actual game. Now, if this code here doesn't work, and then you'll have to actually get a hold of Nintendo's uh, support, and they'll send you a brand new code to be able to download the software. So just that's just a heads up on that uh, on that part there. So. For some reason, even though I got a quick, I got a huge uh, bandwidth of internet here at my place, um, it took a while for this thing to download. It actually, I actually had it downloading for a couple of hours, and I didn't videotape it because it was taking way too long. So I actually left it. I actually left it overnight. So ever since I've downloaded this game, I have not actually activated it so we're about to find out here if if this download was more than enough or if there's going to be another another update on top of this update so um, just hang on a second here so if you guys if you have seen previously from uh, this here before that um, This requires a pretty large amount of uh, space for this game to download, as I've shown previously. That on the cart, on the actual cartridge here, on the actual case here, it says that internet download and micro SD card is required. Of course, this requires 26 gigabytes for it to uh, to download. 
and obviously when I showed you guys that under the system settings that I actually have an SD card installed on this uh, on this system and as, as you can see I only got 13 megabytes left on the card after I downloaded this uh, this game here so just to kind of let you guys kind of see that so yeah if you're going to continue downloading games on uh, on the uh, onto your switch I highly recommend you guys getting an SD card and I recommend getting what you can afford so in other words get the biggest card that you can afford I know that I earlier in the video I have said that you can use multiple SD cards with this but um, I me personally I wouldn't want to be carrying multiple SD cards with these uh, with with my switch it's already bad enough where I actually have to carry around the physical cartridge I don't need to carry a carry around a micro SD card along with it which you can easily easily um, lose right I don't know why Nintendo didn't do what they did with the uh, GameCube um, uh, cases where they actually had a spot in the case that actually would have been would have been an ideal solution where you had slot there a slot inside the case here for your micro SD card you can put it on here to accompany your game for example if you got any saved games or whatever or not you can actually place it in here right so yeah I highly recommend getting the biggest SD card you can afford you know the, um, 128 ideally you know uh, 256 is really 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 comfortable and then as the cards get bigger and bigger and bigger of course they're gonna drop down on price and as it's dropped down on price you know it'd be the best time to grab yourself um, a 512 for example which um, at this very moment I think they're just becoming becoming a thing but it's probably gonna cost an arm or leg anyway but anyway yeah SD card highly recommended so enough of that let's find out if um, if there is if this game will actually launch right off the bat or if there's gonna be another update for this game here so here we go we're about to start it and of course as you can see update required so this time I'm gonna leave the camera rolling and let's see how long this actually takes and update complete so there you go so the game is starting right now let's make sure that the um, the volume is turned also the game so the system actually restarted okay well that's uh, interesting okay okay so everything gets turned up Of course, this in here also encourages you to use the Joy Cons, so there's probably some type of motion. brightness so I'm assuming the brightness part was for the actual TV when you have when you have the switch in docked mode that's what I'm guessing anyway so let 
language English, voice language English. Okay. So purchase bonus, you can use the following weapons and parts in raid mode. Play data to get even more enjoyment of your Resident Evil experience. Agree. Register your account. So the phone code is the test connection. Oh, so I, so, I can I didn't, didn't realize this. Okay, so it looks like there actually is a one player game for this. Um, the code that was popping up on there, that you actually had to log onto the website and, and enter that code onto the website so you're able to transfer your data onto its servers so there's actually a campaign game here and of course the other two elements are the online elements so we're going to try the campaign here so we're going to go start and just keep that on normal Wow, this shit taking quite a bit of time here. I think the only other game that I uh, that I played that experienced this long of um, load times was actually um, um, Lego City Undercover. It also took a long time for it to load as well. Bio terror. The world lives with it. You live with it. Viruses are stolen, re-engineered misused with tragic results. And who are you supposed to trust? Politicians who sell their souls for a few votes. CEOs who betray consumers for a quick buck. Count on us instead. We're above the politics. Always watching. Always ready to face the threat. Head on. We are the unflinching mop that sops up the evils of bioterrorism and chemical warfare. They call us Terror Save. Because terror doesn't have to end with a risk. Hey guys. I feel. Oh, hi, Claire. Medfield. When do the hazing start? <sighs> Cut it out. We've been friends for how long? Long enough that I'm allowed to give you shit. started today but you've got to be careful if you're gonna mention her, her. And her dad oh yeah 
emotional minefield. <laughs> okay. You did your homework. What other horrible invasions of privacy have you gotten there? Hey, I gotta look out for Terra Safe. We have our enemies. Anyway, good luck breaking her in. <sighs> She's not a horse. Bye. do this time. Fucking Barry. Every time I ask him anything, he pushes back. I wouldn't even be here if I listened to him. Okay, so anyway, that's it. I'm not gonna show any more of the game. Um, so it's pretty much a few, a few minutes of the opening sequence of the game. Anyway, I can't wait to play this game. I'm I'm a big uh, Resident Evil fan, so I'm looking forward to this uh, to this game here for sure. But anyway. So that is basically the tutorial on how to add um, software onto your Switch by getting a download code from your uh, from your game. So now you have an understanding how that's done. Um, of course, if you're uh, if you're um, a true Nintendo Switch gamer, you already know how to do that anyway. This is more for the people that, you know, don't have a Switch and are looking to get a Switch. What's actually kind of involved of, uh, of going around and, and um, you know, getting software downloaded onto your game as well. Also, since I'm on the subject over here, I'm actually going to show you guys something here, which I think it's kind of important. Um, with the thing here with the storage and stuff of like that, if there's actually, if, um, certain games or whatever that you actually want to purchase, right, if you want to purchase and you're curious is, you know, how much space the game actually takes and stuff, I don't know, I don't know if you guys know about this or not and probably most of the guys that actually have a switch will know this but anyway but I'm gonna show it anyway when you go into your um, e Nintendo shop right we'll let this load up here of course you get the different categories here you got new releases uh, games on sale best sellers coming soon and of course enter code right so if you, if there's a game that you actually want to get, right, so by clicking on the left of the joystick this way, it will actually make your tiles go bigger. If you click the uh, your joystick the opposite way, it will actually bring this menu in, into play. So, so that's to bring these tiles a bit bigger. But anyway, if there's a particular game that you want to, you want to purchase, right, so let's just say for example, let's see here, let's go with the triple A game here. Um, let's see here, okay so let's say example we're going to go and, don't know what that one is. Okay let's say for example, we're going to download this one over here, okay. 
So when you click on the on the uh, A button here, of course, it's going to tell you the price right there. But then if you scroll all the way down, as you can see right over here, it actually tells you how big the actual game is. Let me see if I can zoom this in a little bit better for you guys. So you guys can actually, uh, if I can get the camera to actually zoom in. Come on, right there. So as you can see, that, that requires 9 points. 9.8 gigabytes for this particular game. Of course, it tells you it supports TV mode, um, docked mode. Okay, so docked mode, um, tabletop mode, and portable mode, right? And the same thing with these with these um, with the games here as well. When you buy it on the back here, it also tell you that that you know it also requires to actually run with you know, docked, tabletop, and portable. And it'll actually tell you for how many players that uh, that the game can handle, right? Um, this one here actually just says it's for one player there. But yeah, so that's just something that I figured that I'd show you guys. You know, I think it's kind of like a little, a small little important detail you know for the people here that that don't really have a Nintendo Switch and you know the PlayStation fanboys or the Microsoft fanboys and they're thinking about you know eventually picking up a Switch whichever way at least right now you, at least like that you get an idea you get an idea you know how this kind of works right off the bat like that but anyway so that's basically the tutorial of, uh, of how to add software using the code that comes with your game. Um, if you uh, enjoyed this video and you find if this video was very helpful, please give me a thumbs up. Um, I would like to try to make more of these if I possibly could. So, if you enjoyed my content, you know, please give me a uh, give me a subscribe to the channel and uh, until the next video. Goodbye.